I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spin me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to the great state of Washington where they stop at the post office there and a frauditor thinks his camera is assaulted. An inanimate object cannot be assaulted. What is wrong with these yahoos? Well, anyway, let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Are we done? No. Tell you to put your PIN number or a doorbell. This is a checkpoint. Okay, now it's ready. Can I help you? No, I'm good to go, thanks. I'm sorry, what? I'm good to go, I appreciate it though. All right, well, we taking pictures for what? Uh, just working on something. Working on something, what are we working on? Uh, just, yeah, working on something. Okay, well, have a good day. Yeah, you too. That is definitely the best way to deal with a frother. Just slam the door right in their face. Although he didn't slam it very loudly, it was still getting the point across, no doubt. You're not taking a picture of me, are you? I am. No, you're not. No, you're I don't give you any. I don't give you the right to do that. So turn it off. Yeah, I don't want to be in touch. Now, if you missed it, good people, you want to play it back because that was the assault right there. Imagine that. The camera, and you're gonna end up on the floor. You understand me? Assault me again and find out what happens. That's the last time I'll let it happen. He asked you not to talk for him. That is not his right. You touch my camera equipment or me again. It's not my right to t tell you. You to turn cannot it off. assault me. You right, understand that? Was that Back off, let's, let's stop. Step outside, please. Wow. What a crazy guy. Can okay. I say that? Yeah, and you need to fill out your uh, customs form. Okay. I don't know who you think you are, man. You do that again, and it's not going to okay, turn out well for go you. Ahead and These frauditors all talk a tough game, don't they? But I'm betting if it came right down to it, they'd run away and go home to cry to their mommies. Yeah, because guys who talk like that really aren't that tough. You have to watch the guys who don't say anything. Those are the guys you got to be concerned about. And your address, he asked you about the address, and that's his uh, right also. It's his and right to ask me that. And, I agree. Yeah. And you can stop photographing me also, please. I'm not going to yeah. stop photographing you. Well, then let's step on outside. I'm not stepping outside. Come on outside. I'm not going outside. All right. Do you have any business in here then? I absolutely have business. Are you purchasing something? I will be. Okay. And how much value would you put on it? It's about $30. Okay. Look, if you, if you have a concern, you want to call the Postal Inspection Service? No, That's fine. I don't. I'm just, no, that I'm just standing have here. Anything What's that? I'm, I'm just standing here. Okay. You might want to have a conversation with some of your uh, customers here about assault. And he asked you to not to photograph. And he doesn't have a right to assault a customer. That's a federal crime on federal property. It's exclusive federal property. What is this boy yammering about? A federal crime on federal property? What? What federal crime? Let's roll that clip one more time so we can see the crime. Do that. So turn it off. Yeah, I don't want to be in touch. I didn't see any crime. Did you, good people? Well, nonetheless, let's carry on. You should know this. Are you the postmaster? 
I'm not the postman. Are you a supervisor or a manager? I am. Yeah, you should know that. I do know that. Okay, then you know what? You might want to have a conversation with him. He started the conversation by asking you not to photograph him. And it's and while it's his right to use his First Amendment to talk to me, it is not I, his I, First I, Amendment I liberty that, to sir. assault me. I understand. You that. do understand that it's not his right to assault me. And I asked you to leave the premises. And, and it's and not I your it's you not to. your and liberty. I, I just to do said so. that I can't force you to. Exactly. I can ask you to stop photographing them or recording. You can ask. You can't right. force that. And, the, and you're not going to take any more photos in the back either. Uh, no. Absolutely, I am. No, you're yeah. not. So Absolutely, I am. Okay. That's part of what I'm here for today. I have. Do you have an ID? No. Why would I show you ID? I don't know. Because I, I asked. Part of my constitutional rights, also. Another loser in life with no real job must be terrible. You know what I'm thinking, though? When these guys do this, wouldn't that be considered loitering, uh, especially after they bought their one stamp? All right, you came there, you bought your one stamp, and you're still there, and now you're loitering. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can ask for things. Fine. Uh, no, I'm not going to. Please get a stamp. Just okay. Uh, which one? Which one? Uh, do you want uh, loose stamps? How many do you need? Just one. Just um, one. Uh, the just only, the only good. available one we just have one. are this yeah, one. Just one. Yep. Okay. There you go. Thanks. And I'll uh, ring it up for you, sir. Hold on. Where's the barcode? This will be 66 cents. Okay. Yeah. So this idiot's already been at the post office 10 minutes. Now he buys his stamp, but the video runs for another 23 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. Why are you still there? Well, of course, the police show up. Let's find out what happens when the cops come. 11 minutes later. It's that one on the left, Don. Right there. Most yes, I understand. So, so, hi. Hey. So, hey, I'm Corporal McCarty with the Bay Ridge Island PD, so just to let you know you're being video and audio recorded. What's is this on? consensual or detention? What's going on? No, you're not You're not detained right okay, now. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's yeah. consensual. That's cool. Yeah, so what's going I'm on? just working on something. On a what? A what? I'm just working on something. Working on something? Oh, okay. Yeah. So have they, have they asked you to stop recording then? Unlawfully, he's asking me to stop recording. What do you mean unlawfully? He doesn't possess that authority. He doesn't? He lacks it. Okay. That poster 7 right there is an excerpt yeah. of uh, one of the codes of federal regulation. It's 39232.1, uh -huh. subsection H. That okay. is for photoing, videoing in lobbies, corridors, entrance ways, that kind of stuff. Apparently, these two cops know nothing about poster 7 and what goes on at the post office. It's a shame because this frauditor's going to get away with nonsense today. But maybe next time they'll be educated and they'll know just to kick him out. It allows it. Is that what it you said? It allows it. It allows it. I didn't read it. Does it out, allow out, it, sir? Out here. Out but here. He's recording back here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, there, killer. Hold on a moment. I never went back there. There's a night. There's a federal. There's a federal ruling from 1948. It's McDonald v. U.S. The eyes can't be trespassed. So, if I'm viewing. For example, just to kind of give a little bit better of an example. If I'm viewing someone's private property from the street and they have a no trespass sign on their property but I'm on a sidewalk, I can't say you're trespassing on my property by recording. So Don, come on, let's get with the, with the program, buddy, okay? I absolutely can record and video from a public space back there. Well, I tell you one thing, I'm not gonna look up that case law. If somebody out there wants to look it up, that's fine because this stuff is all ridiculous to me. You can't trespass my eyes, a 1948 rule. Well, whoop de doo The only thing is, man, if somebody punches you in the eye and you can't see anymore, then I guess your eyes can be trespassed. I'm working on something that has to do with activities back there. That's why I'm here. That's what the and press does, Don. Right, and, and I understand that. I don't think you do, Don. And but at the same time, I keep, and they asked you also what you're working on. And you're, you're I don't need to explain myself. Sure. I just asked what you were doing. No, no, I, know, I get that, Corporal. But what I'm saying, Don, is, you know, you're not Xi Jinping. You're not running some dictatorial program here where you get to tell the press what to do. 
Okay, you need to you need to stay in your lane. And I haven't told I haven't talked to the press at all yet, though. I don't need to identify to you to quell any concerns you have. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to say I am press to then have you go. Oh, I've checked the box. Stay in your lane, Don. I am in my. You're lane. not in your lane. You called the police. You called people with firearms and other weapons to try to intimidate me and or potentially get me off my property. No, oh, sorry, I don't have a better picture of this idiot, but he always covers his face up. Yeah, even his mother can't stand to look at his face. I guess that's the way it is. I'm not leaving my property. Sure. So what you should probably do is go back to work, stop harassing me, and when, when customers of yours assault a member of the press and a member of the public, you might want to call the Postal Inspection Service since these two don't have any authority here because there's no jurisdiction for them to begin with, and get the postal inspector from Seattle to come over. You know that's what you're supposed to do. You know that is what you're supposed to do. So why are you calling these two? They're my first line of security. There is no jurisdiction for them here. They completely lack it. You have, I did a public records request with Bainbridge. Guess what they don't have? An interlocal agreement to provide law enforcement services on an exclusive jurisdiction federal property. Uh-oh, that's in 40 U.S.C. 1315 D3, Don. This frater has a real smart mouth. I wonder if he has a purdy mouth. Well, at any rate, he needs a smackdown. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, nothing too serious now. You understand, yeah, but just uh, let him know that he, he's out of line. So maybe call legal counsel, maybe call your district manager, maybe call the Postal Inspection Service before you call two people that can't do a thing about it. Not unless they witness a felony in progress in their presence. That's it. That's the only thing they can do. Okay? Sure. So just stop harassing me, man. I'm trying to work, I'm trying to do my job and you're calling people with guns. I haven't harassed you yet. Calling people with firearms and other weapons to try to get me off the property or intimidate me is not that. I love when frauditors say, oh, you called men with guns. Yeah, right. Well, police carry guns, man. What's your point? Look at him, though. Man, he's pitiful. The boy is pitiful. This is your job? Really? You should get a real job. Yeah, I tell you what, the video continues for about another 15 minutes or so, and he just continues to lecture the cops and the post office manager. It's really sad. It truly is that, uh, you know, especially for the cops, I would not stand there and listen to it. I would just go ahead and leave, but hey, it is what it is. Well, at any rate, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always. Thanks so much for stopping by, sonny boy. I would say get a real job, but you're gonna have to take off the mask and sunglasses to do so. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason really, has... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah, we're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Do. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me.